Welcome to this Reflection for Learning activity that we call Food for Thought. If we undertake this activity in a face-to-face -face class, we would actually be using fortune cookies. We can't do so in an online environment and even in a face-to-face -face environment, there can be students who have allergies to ingredients. So we should always offer an alternate cyber alternative. And what you have here on the screen is a list of examples of sites that provide you with online fortune cookies. So what I do in an online class is I take a copy of one of these links and in my Zoom class, I will go to the chat function. And in the chat function, I will paste in the URL. And I think I don't have the, oh, yes, I did. I had the whole one there. I just put in the whole URL and share that with everybody in the group or in the class. And what I then do is ask all the participants to click onto that link and they're going to receive a fortune from their online fortune cookie. And the instructions for today are read the fortune and then make a link between that fortune and reflecting online. So we now need to allow a minute as people copy the link paste it into their browser, read the fortune and think, reflect deeply on what is the link between the fortune and reflecting in an online environment. So in a class, you particularly with a small class, you could go around or a small group, go around and ask everybody to provide an example of the link they've made. And you may find in some classes that there are people who are reluctant to share their link. And you can just say, that's okay. We can come back to you later if you wish and just move on. So just be prepared for all sorts of responses. And I might go around with the group that I have here and ask people to make that link. So I'm going to start with Anne Louise. Could you read out your fortune and make a link to online reflection? So my fortune cookie says, land is always in the mind of the flying birds. <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess in relation to online learning, it challenges our notion of, of land or the spaces in which we are learning. So it's, it's not one um, land, but multiple lands. Um, and I guess we need to use our mind in different ways in order to exercise learning through the online space. And well, in terms of the flying birds, maybe the online environment means that sometimes we, we uh, you know, fly off in our thoughts. We're not as focused as we might be if we were in person in a space together. That's a, a very random interpretation, but there you have it. And many interpretations, many links. Thanks, Anne-Louise. Kat, can I ask you, what's the link between your fortune and online reflection? My cookie said, you're one of the people who goes places in life. Mm. And uh, of late, I've been certainly doing that because I've been online looking, not only doing Zoom meetings, but I've recently gone back looking for photos and finding it's been taking me back to situations that we've been in life with various different people. And that's been a really exciting place to go. Mm. You often forget those. And coming up against memories that you go, oh, I had forgotten about that. And so it's it certainly linked me back to uh, those places in life. But also too, I think in terms of research and going to different places and looking at different articles and listening to podcasts and um, it's just been a really exciting place to 
it to explore. Mm -hmm. That probably I've done more so because of the online environment than I might necessarily get a chance to do if I was doing the day-to-day -day, um, work environment. That sounds very positive. Thank you, Kat. Greg, can I ask you to read out your fortune and make a link? Um, my fortune is conquer your fears or they will conquer you. Mm. <laughs> Which makes me think about, okay, so when is it that sort of being bold and jumping in is a good idea with online learning? And um, makes me think about the way in which um, doing reflection on uh, in online learning is a bit of a challenge, actually, but particularly the first time and probably normally for the first three or so. And so there's kind of a thing there about, oh, okay, well, if you notice that what's what's actually getting in the way of doing it is just that you kind of feel, help, <laughs> it's scary, it's new, um, then that may be a place where it actually makes sense to say, okay, well, I am feeling that, but let's not let that um, uh, drive what I do. Um, let's try it out and see what happens. And so, yeah, that's how that's what I take from it. Absolutely. Thank you, Green. Kate, what is your fortune and what's the link? My fortune says your failures will lead you to your success. Mm -hmm. I think that's incredibly apt for online learning because I think this has been a year of um, learning and reflecting of many, many failures online and using those to make um, our teaching and collaboration online even better. So I think, um, yeah, success comes out of practice, right? So. I think embracing our failures online is, has been the, um, the theme for me in the link. Thank you everybody for sharing both your fortunes and how you've been able to make a link to online learning and online reflection. Um, and a reminder to anybody who wants to engage with this activity that we've just picked a topic to, topic to make a link, you can link the fortune in a fortune cookie to any topic or issue from science and maths to arts and history at all, and it works. And if you want to learn more about the details of this activity, do go to the web and download our resource that is freely available to you all. And if you do trial any of these Reflection for Learning activities, we'd love to hear from you and also receive feedback on how we can do things better um, and improve them because we're all very committed to good reflective practice online and face-to-face. -face. Thank you.